investigation has found that the speaker uh, was involved in corrupt conduct uh, during her during the last uh, two years. This all relates uh, to her efforts to stifle uh, Terry Mills, the leader of the Territory Alliance Party now, from setting up a political party here in the Northern Territory. It goes back to events in November of 2018 when uh, Ms Purick uh, and her assistant Martine Smith actually uh, sent messages to a man who owns the name the North Australia Party. That was a party that Terry Mills was trying to establish here in the Northern Territory. They actually contacted a man by the name of Bruce Young in Queensland who already uh, owned that name. What they were trying to do was register the North Australia Party here in the Northern Territory simply to make life difficult for Terry Mills. Now, uh, this investigation uh, by the ICAC has found that that, uh, that amounted to corrupt behaviour. They've also found that the Speaker uh, may face further, may be in further hot water over uh, her misleading comments that were given to the ICAC while under oath as part of this investigation. The Chief Minister, Michael Gunner, made the announcement about this ICAC finding this morning. He says that uh, he has now asked Kezia Purick to resign. Given the seriousness of the ICAC's findings, I have afforded the Speaker an opportunity to resign from that position today. In these extraordinary circumstances, when Parliament returns tomorrow, the Government will propose that the Deputy Speaker, Mr Paik, serve as Speaker for the remainder of this term of Parliament. Questions are also going to be asked about Labor uh, over this whole incident. It was just a couple of months ago where Territory Alliance, the party now led by Terry Mills, uh, tried to... Uh, well, they, they'd actually become the opposition here in the Northern Territory. They had three seats compared to the country Liberal parties too. The Labor Party, though, allowed a vote to occur in the Parliament here. And during that vote, Labor, part, Labor members abstained from the actual vote, but that vote reinstated the CLP as the opposition party. So questions have been asked uh, of the Chief Minister about why he and the Labor Party allowed that to happen. We will hear from Terry Mills and Robin Lambley later this afternoon. It comes as an, at an interesting time. Uh, Tom, a poll that uh, we revealed on the weekend actually showed that the Territory Alliance Party is in uh, with a real chance of giving Labor a shake at the election, which is now just two months away.